It's my first official 107 flight is today. Well, last week I told you that I was going to be taking the 107 test. A lot of you that watched sent me a congratulations and I really do appreciate it. It was cool. It only took me about three years to do it. I want to tell you the trick that I implemented to get it done. I had applied for and scheduled this test twice in the past within the last year and a half. Both times that I scheduled it, the day before I was to take the test, the FAA sent me a message or some, somebody sent me a message and said you've been canceled because the instructor is not available. Whatever that means. I don't know why I did that. Well, anyway, I got kind of irritated about that because I'd already paid the money. I'd studied up like I'd studied for weeks uh, for both times for, for this test. Anyway, the trick that, that I implemented this time was I scheduled the test first. A w I think it was a week out from when I started to study. And then that motivated me to be ready for, the, for it by that date. So I just had to spend a week to study. The date came and they didn't cancel me and I took it and passed. Anyway, that's my trick. That's a dumb trick. That's right guys, we're at the pond and there's nobody here. That's why I like to come here early in the morning because I, I don't think anybody ever gets here until afternoon when they go fishing. I got called out last week for naming the drones Jack, Dwight, and Rose. They, they call me juvenile or something. I can't remember what it was. We're not here for the negative stuff. We're here for a test. <laughs> so about four months ago or so, I got a comment from P.A. Oberson and he was asking a question about return to home. He says, thanks for all the videos you make. I have a suggestion for a video topic. Check what happens at the very beginning of a return to home. I noticed that the drone goes back a certain distance and only then does it take the out does it take the altitude defined in the application to finally return to the starting point in the direct line and land. I was able to verify this on several flights, but not precisely because I don't have the possibility of putting a camera at the location of the start of the return to home, and it's not easy to see exactly what the drone is doing. So today we're going to test Jack, the DJI Mini 2, and we're going to test Dwight, the Mini 4, and we're going to see exactly what they do. So, a pretty cool idea, I come up with it myself. I'm going to fly the drone out from the home point here, and I'm going to reset the home point to that location out there, and then I'm going to bring the drone back to us, and we're going to have a camera setting on the drone, and whenever I hit return to home, we're going to see what the drone does. It sounded like more of a wow idea in my head anyway. So who should we start with? I think we should start with Jack, our DJI Mini 2. So let me go get Jack out of the box. <laughs> Jack out of the box. Let me go get him and we'll get this test started. You guys see what I did not forget today? <laughs> That's a tripod. I'm a little bit confused because I'm not looking at the dashboard. <laughs> not in my comfort zone. I'm going to get Jack out here so he can get his satellites. The home point has been updated. Hey. Please check it on the map. Martha, you're back. <laughs> So we got 14 satellites. I went over to the map view here. Go to the three dots and show you who we're using. We're using Jack the Drone. His, fir his aircraft firmware is 1.03.0000 and his flyout version is 1.4.8. So I'll be anxious to see what this does in relation to the 1.12.8 that, that uh, Dwight has. Let me get Dwight up in the air here. I'm gonna use the GoPro to watch this because I don't know if my truck camera is gonna, gonna capture it too well today. All right, we'll get him started. Take off. Get him raised up in the air the here. Point has been updated. And he is in Please the camera view, which is cool. Map. Let me go left and right into the up and down and all that stuff. Front, forward, and backwards. He's responded to the controls. He's drifting just a hair, but I don't. I think that might just be the updraft from the back of the truck. He's pretty low. Let me raise him up just a little bit more. He's still in the camera view. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's get him out there a couple hundred feet. We're out 474 feet or so. Let me, let me pull the camera down and make sure he's not over the water. Okay, he's not over the water, so he's not gonna land in the water if he does make it all the way home. <laughs> let me go to the three dots here, and we'll go to update the home point. I think it's under the safety thing. Yeah, update home point there at the bottom. Now, can, can I update it to that? And I hit okay. I am zero feet away from the home, or one foot away from the home point, so he has updated his home point. So let me bring him back. I can't see this uh, screen so dark. All right, so there we are in the screen. I'm gonna pull him back here to where we are. Then we're gonna hit return to home and see what he does. That was a low flight, so we were 27 feet up in the air. So I'm gonna do two flights. I'm gonna do a flight that's high, and I'm gonna do this flight, which was low. Let me drop him down here so we can get the camera on him. And we'll hit return to home and see what he does. He is right there. Can you guys see him? <laughs> Let me hit return to home and see what he does here. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. He raised straight up in the air that time. So he did not backtrack at all. So he's raising all the way up in the air there. And now he's turning. 
and uh, he's gonna raise up even more. Why is he raising up more? That was weird. He turned halfway and then he raised up more. And now he's flying back sideways. <laughs> As always. All right, let me cancel that return to home flight. You guys see that airplane up there now? He wasn't there a minute ago. I had to get out of his way. I've kind of changed my test here a little bit, but I'm gonna bring him back at a low altitude, uh, straight towards us. And then I'm gonna disconnect the controller and see what he does at that point. That'll be interesting. Let's see here, he's 10 feet up in the air. Is he in the camera view? I can't tell. Oh, there he is. Let me, let me uh, come down a hair. There you go. Okay, so is he gonna backtrack is the question. I think backtracking might be him raising back up a little bit and then flying backwards 50 feet. Let me turn this controller off. <laughs> oh, he raised straight up in the air. Oh, why did I do that? Because I hit return to home. I, I didn't turn the, the controller off, you idiot. <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna have to try this again. So what I did was I hit the home button instead of the power button. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the power button and maybe lose Jack. <laughs> What's going on here? I can't figure out how to hit the button. There we go. All right, so I have disconnected from Jack. He is flying right there. He's still flying, just sitting there. I have no connection. RC not connected. It's been a few seconds. He's turning around right now. Oh, he's starting to fly straight back a little bit. And he is now officially flying at a low altitude back to where the home point is. So let me connect back to the controller here and see if I can pick him back up. Wow, that is cool. So he did go about 50 feet and now he's raising back up into the air and he's gonna go to his home point. That is cool, that's a result. I'm canceling the, home, the return to home. Let me get Jack back, I think that was a pretty good result and we're gonna try Dwight and we're gonna see what he does. <laughs> good job, Jack. I don't know, there was a little bit of confusion there because I couldn't really see the screen too well. But I think that that was a pretty good result. <laughs> see, I remembered again. <laughs> I'm gonna get Dwight put out on the back of the truck so he can get his satellites because he's got zero right now. At least his gimbal's not moving, right? <laughs> zero satellites. It's amazing how much better I can see this screen than my phone. That iPhone is horrible. Home point okay, let me get the home points been updated. Let me get the map view up. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but a while back we did a, a video with Dwight where we updated his home point and I had to be connected to Wi-Fi uh, in order to get that change made. So somebody taught, sent me a message and said, you shouldn't have to do that, that's crazy. But this is gonna be a test also to see if we really have to do that because if I get him out there and update his home point and it says not able to because of whatever, then I'm gonna have to connect it to Wi-Fi. So let's try that. We got 24 satellites, let's get him up in the air here. Oh, let me get the camera on Jack, or on C. That's one. <laughs> we'll get the camera on Dwight here. And we'll get him started. Get him up about 21 feet, 22 feet. Hopefully he doesn't have that gimbal problem that he had before. But there he is in all of his glory. And his gimbal looks straight. He's not wavering at all. That looks perfect. Okay, so let me get the camera set up here in the corner. We'll do the same thing with him that we did with Dwight. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> All right, so let me see, let me pull the gimbal down here. What is that, the C1? Yeah, all right, so I'm over grass, which is good. I'm not over, not over water. I'm gonna get him to turn around. And then I'm gonna go to the three dots. And I'm gonna update the home point. I wonder if it's under safety also. Update home point and aircraft. That's different. I'm gonna hit okay. There's something really loud. Home point updated. updated. Well, I guess there's a big dump truck driving by. It's kind of loud, but I guess that proves the fact, that's, that's proven fact now that I don't have to have Wi-Fi in order to update the home point. The map is up, so maybe the map has been, up, has been downloaded onto the controller. Maybe that's a possibility. All right, so let's get him back over here and we're gonna hit, hit return to home and see what he does, see what his actions are. Okay, so there's, there's Dwight. Let me see if he's in the camera view. I don't think he is. Oh, almost fell over. Let me hit return to home and see what he does. 
He's in he's in the uh, optimal mode at this point, so he's just gonna fly straight over there. But he's not he's raising up a little bit and he's heading back home already. So he's not raising up to a very high height, but he he's comfortable at that height. So let me cancel the return to home there. I guess the second thing I need to do with him is test him in the regular mode, huh? Or the predetermined mode. I can never remember what that word is. <laughs> let me go over to the three dots here and go to the advanced return to home settings. Wait, there was, we just got a preset, there we go. And now I'm gonna hit return to home with him here and see what he does now. Wonder if he's gonna go straight up in the air like uh, Jack did. Return to he's turning around already and he's flying straight up into the air. There we go, he's doing the same thing Jack did. And he's going all the way up to his return to home height. I think his return to home height is set a little bit high right now. Oh no, it's 160 feet like normal. And now he's flying straight back home. Well, I'm gonna get him back now and we're gonna try the scary test. I guess I'm, let me record on, let me record on him and that way if we do lose recording then at least we've got <laughs> this recording that's on him. All right, man, I'm nervous about this one. Okay, is he on the, is he in the camera view here? And he is. All right, so if I hit this power off button right here, what is he gonna do? He's probably gonna land before I have a chance to go get him, so. Man, this is not fun, I don't like this, but we gotta do it. Okay, shut, oh shoot, I need to turn that back on. All right, he's turning around right now and he's raising straight up into the air. You guys can see that. He's raising straight up into the air. The, the thing is still rebooting, so <laughs> I don't really have much of a, a view here. And now he's, he's flying back home. So I need to be able to get this screen up before he returns all the way home, because he's gonna land. All right, now he's flying. So if I hit, let me get this screen recording back going. I canceled the return to home flight, so now he stopped. You guys can't see it because I don't have a screen recording going. And I bet you, I bet you that that last screen recording was dumped. <laughs> okay, well we got our answer at least, right? He raised up straight into the air and he flew home. Hey, I made it home. <laughs> Pierre, I hope that this answered your question. I know for myself, I've got more questions now than answers, so we've got some more testing to do in the future. Guys, I hope that you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless.